No, okay, uh, sir, I don't think that's a good idea. You can barely walk in a straight line. Rubbish, I'm like a pigeon. I'm afraid there's been a murder. Oh. oh well, uh, I suppose I should put some trousers on then. Please do. But I'm happy being single. Good. How can you be happy being married if you're not happy being single? What? Humphrey? <laughs> All good. A little bit snug around the crown jewels, if I'm completely honest, but nothing broken. What kind of person would kill their wife only minutes after marrying her? Uh, a murderer. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. Lights. Camera. Toaster. Right. I think I know what I did wrong there. I told him you could keep things warm. Yes, you did. <laughs> I think I've broken my spine. There's been a murder. Oh, what? Really? Where? I'm well, I mean, I... Ah! Harry! Ah! What's happened? I think I've just hoovered Harry! Can't you go back to Guadeloupe? Can't you go back to London? I'm trying. Try harder. I can't, I can't work, work with, with him. I could be your dance partner. I found the pictures of the pencils. As you can see, I've categorized them into groups of five. That's an excellent theory, Selwyn. I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer, and I want a cup of tea. Ah, ah, they're alive! Ah. Mark, Look at the exits! Get it! Why are they alive? You ordered them. I ordered them fresh. I didn't know they'd be walking around. What idiot did you trick into buying her? <laughs> Ahoy there! Can I ask exactly what is wrong with you? Oh, nothing. Uh, just a touch of sick building syndrome. As long as I completely avoid the police station, I'll be absolutely fine. No, the Oscar Samuel. I could kiss you. Come on, Chief. There's got to be a reason. OK, if you must know. Mm -hmm. I got up this morning, and I couldn't find my trousers. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> I warn you, I'm armed and, well, I'm armed. I need to be reassured that this matter will be handled with speed, discretion, tact. And dignity. Don't you worry, Commissioner. Discretion, tact, and dignity are my middle names. I mean, not really. It's actually Finton. After the little known St. Finton, you don't need to know that. It's fine. Small island, much quieter ways to kill someone. Strangling, get poison. Push him off a cliff, half breaks the back of the head. <clears throat> yes. Torn the pages out, haven't you? Yes, sorry. As great as it was having everything in order, my brain doesn't really work like that. No sugar, please, Doris. You're so English! Being English doesn't mean you're annoying. Oh, yes, it does. Well, if you don't mind me saying so, I think that's very childish. Very French. Excuse me? Yes, sir. He went by the name of Dice Boy. And that is a cool nickname. Mm. You know, I always wanted to be called Moondog. There's still a lot of differences depending on which side of the line you're from. Such as? Well, people from the north are all like, uh, hey, up, oh, whip it, sick, pass us bomb keg. Whereas people from the south are more like, <laughs> do what? Leave it out, you're having a laugh. Although she's looking a bit wonky. Excuse me? The angel. She's got a definite wonk to the left. Bring the melon too, would you? I do not look like a tortoise. I never said you did, sir. Hi, Marlon. And a plant, which will most certainly be dead by the end of next week. Trust me, I kill everything. If you decided to end your life, would you be worrying about the long-term wear and tear of your teeth? Underneath the mango tree. Catherine, tell Patrice I may need another beer. I know the commission is needs. <laughs> I'll get you three. And a bottle of rum. <laughs> Well, that was lovely, JP. Quite a jewel you would make.